All right, YouTube, early morning, wife's still asleep. I'm in the garage, I'm loading up the truck, I'm getting it ready. We're not gonna be using the dumpsters as much today. Uh, we're gonna drop that trailer off. I'm gonna hook up to my other flatbed and we are gonna go load up some shipping containers that I have a customer asking for. They're gonna use it as storage for a while. These things are a pain in the butt to load and unload. And of course, somebody wants it put in a very unique place. But uh, we are here to make the customer happy. So let's just uh, skip to that bit in the day where we start loading up those containers and getting them dropped. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so we got the uh, shipping container loaded. As you can see, I'm kind of light on them. Well, not really. Whoops. Woo. Don't want to fall. We got one here, one there, and we got one more back there. But that one back there and this one right here on the trailer, those are actually uh, going to a law firm that's going to use them to store some papers in. Uh, they want them for six months. They guess they're moving out of the uh, building, so they actually have to store their papers for X amount of months or something like that. So the idea is I'm going to drop two of these off right outside the building, and then they're going to pay movers to just basically move files into these containers for X amount of months. Um, I pay them for a drop-off fee, I pay them for a pickup fee, and I pay them monthly. And as most people would say, that thing's not going anywhere, I hope. But um, I do want to let you know, I got an update on the shop. It's black. It does make the windows look really ugly right now. So I really need to get the uh, windows taken care of. I need to get some more gravel. I just picked up a container that was sitting here for a while. So we need to get more gravel out here. Hi, Kyle. What's up? And we need to get this whole field out here graveled one day. Um, but then I have a buddy actually who's doing a road out here. So he's actually storing some of this stuff here for a couple days. But uh, Kyle's going to be witness to trying to drop one of these in the city, in the middle of traffic, in a very tight space. So uh, I guess we'll get to it and uh, we'll get down the road and try to get this thing off without incident. All right, guys, this sucks. Seeing it here and having it here, it obviously just goes to show that this space right here on this gravel pad isn't as big as it might seem when they thought, you know, it would fit here. I think we can still get them both here, but getting them two here in a clean manner is not gonna be easy. So this will be interesting. It's always fun. It's fun figuring it out. All right, so we got it. But I mean, it's a very uneven surface, so we're gonna have to level a lot of it with wood. But uh, we're to the tail end. They wanted it by the parking lot so they can walk their stuff out. And then we basically just be driving it straight into the street from there. So, gotta get these straps undone. Get ready to tilt this bad boy up. All right, after yeah. about after about a 50 point turn, Clayton yeah. finally got this thing. Semi screwed. Not really. No, it's not. That's alright. Kind of close to that person I could. I didn't touch it once. Yeah. Right. So somehow Clayton's got to get this thing halfway level, which you can't really tell in the video, but... <laughs> It's not real level. The whole thing's kind of like, whoop. And what he's doing? Uh, hope the trailer goes down. Yeah, that'd be bad. So is this all? This is all off a of battery. Yeah. These things are definitely a lot bigger in person when you're up close. Wouldn't want that thing to fall on you. 
Man, it sure would be nice if someone had a skid steer that could come over here and level this lot. Yeah, well, this is the trailer I would use to move this. <laughs> Sounds like you need another trailer. All right, now we're going backwards. Oh, there it goes. What's this other side look like? I don't think he realizes that his cable is on. Hey, do you not realize your cable's still attached? Oh, it's, it's unwound. It's on the just more there. For... Wow, look how uneven that is. That's nerve wracking. I'd be careful standing that close to it. Yeah. Is it, uh, I don't know what it might be. What's that? Floating off the edge here. Oh, wow. Oh, well. All right. Here we go. Let's drop it. And we got a bus coming. traffic. I just hope those doors are going to swing open. They are pretty far away. It'll work. It'll work once it falls. Yeah. And you can, like you said, bring a jack over if you need to. And she's off. It's not as bad as we maybe thought it was gonna be. But he's gotta stick one more on this side here, so. But it'll be all right. He can always bring a jack and get this a little bit more level. It's kinda nice, just holding the camera. I don't have to do any work. What do you mean level it with this? Well, what you can do, and I do it all the time, is you actually take the, uh, the winch, you bring it down to the chain, and then you actually lower the flatbed. The leverage then lifts the back end up. Oh, gotcha. And then I could tuck the appropriate amount of wood under whatever side it needs to do. So, get a shoot of wood up. I gotta come back and bring a second one here anyway. So. Yeah. Very strong. Oh my. Nice thing is, this door is pretty nice. So, this thing is uh, watertight. Yep, this one is. Let's give me a tour. I want to see it. Well, here's the living room. That's it smells like gas because the kid that had this last. Put a bunch of water equipment in here. I might have to put some up. Might have to clean it out for it, but. Yeah. All right, cool. Got it dropped. All right, so I came back real quick because this thing really needs leveled. I mean, uh, so I just went and got a floor jack instead of actually using the trailer hydraulics to level it. Um, it this is so bad, so I had to go get some more wood. 
Uh, and you can, I mean, look at this. I mean, I can shake it. So, we're just gonna use a floor jack. We're gonna put it in the corners, lift it up, get some wood under it so it's not sitting on the actual gravel where water will obviously pool. And uh, we'll get it level. All right, guys, that's how unlevel this ground is here. Look at that. So, I might have to come back with a couple more timbers to put underneath there just to support it, but it's not pretty, but it's at least level now. And they can actually start putting stuff in it. But I gotta get one more right here. And I put this one as far over on the property line as possible so I could dodge that fire hydrant. So, we'll get that next one tomorrow. But this one's dropped as close to there as possible. All right, guys, day two, we got it here. So we got the second one in, boop. And it's not as pretty as the other one, so I made sure to put the pretty one on this side so that to get a little bit of advertisement space. If you look, it's got the name and everything on the side of it, but I got them lined up. And you gotta think ahead with these because um, you shoot through past this uh, fire hydrant here. When I come to pick it up, I can come down that alley there and then I can actually shoot off and then back up to the trailer. Say hi, Keegan. What's up? That's Keegan, he's my new helper. He has been awesome lately. So we're gonna get these uh, straps that aren't going anywhere. We're gonna get those off. We're gonna tilt this thing down and then we're gonna shoot it off. It's probably sit here six plus months. Like I said, this one's not nearly as pretty, but it is watertight. It is black as can be in here. Um, there's not a single peep of light. And we've got about uh, maybe a foot and a half between, which is kind of exactly what I wanted. Went ahead and we recessed the bumper. So now you can see the bumper is hidden up there, taking off the straps. All right, just like that, the deed is done. We'll get it all leveled out again real quick, make sure it's not shaking, and that they get the doors open, pick up some uh, blocks, and we'll get out of here. Two shipping containers, monthly rent, pick up and drop up for drop off fee. Perfect. All right, y'all, so we moved on. It's been a good day. The guy's actually paying up front for the first three months, the pickup and the drop off. Right now, I'm grabbing the skid steer. We're actually gonna load some of these, uh, green bags that I have and some other junk that's been hanging out here. Uh, we're going to load it into this really light dumpster I've got. And then um, over there, we've got a scrap pile that we're going to get out of the way for the day. So busy day. Um, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you stay tuned for some more content. We'll keep pushing it out. Thanks again. Keep grinding.